Republic Act 9003, otherwise known as the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000. The Republic Act 9003, otherwise known as the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000, RA 9003, was passed by the Philippine Congress on December 20, 2000, and was subsequently approved by the Office of the President on January 26, 2001. It contains seven chapters subdivided into 66 sections, setting out policy direction for an effective solid waste management program in the country. Solid waste management is defined by RA 9003 as a discipline concerned with control of solid waste generation, storage, collection, transfer and transport, processing and disposal. These activities must be carried out in accordance with the best public health guidelines. The Act establishes the necessary institutional processes and incentives, appropriate fundings, declares certain conduct prohibited, and imposes penalties in order to create complete ecological solid waste management program. Expected outcomes if successfully implemented. RA 9003, known as Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000, provides the necessary policy framework, institutional mechanisms, and mandate to the local government units to achieve 25% waste reduction through establishing an integrated solid waste management plans based on three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. SWM plan, closure and rehabilitation of dump sites, establishment of materials, recovery facilities, and an environmentally sound disposal system. The BIPAC waste recycling scheme involving the youth supports the implementation of RA 9003 clean and dry residual and recyclable waste generated in public schools through the youth for environment savers. Organizations are collected. Good waste management follows the four R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, and recover, as well as avoiding illegal dumping and littering. The issuance of guidelines and provisions of technical support in the establishment and operation of waste to energy facilities will enhance the sustainability of disposal system for municipal residual waste to all provinces and highly urbanized areas. The significant contribution of this project is expected to enhance the economic development of the country through form formalizing the waste collection and recycling and also promotion of job opportunities. It also helps the economy to reduce reliance on imported oils and increase in power generation. On the whole, RA 9003 is so far the most comprehensive law on solid waste management that the country has ever produced. It was created with the best motives in solving the solid waste crisis of the Philippines. Whether there are still loopholes that need to be mended, provisions that need to be reviewed and revised. The law is in place and revised. The law is in place and therefore must be implemented in order to effectively manage solid waste. The government also will put sanctions to those people caught in act burning those plastic and hazardous. Ranges from 300 to 1 million pesos and are imprisonment of one day to six years. It littering, throwing, dumping of waste matters in public places such as roads, sidewalks, canals, esteros, or parks and establishments, or causing or permitting the same fine. 300 to 1,000 pesos or community service to 1 to 15 days in LGU where violation was made or both. Imprisonment 15 days to 6 months or both penalty fines. Conservation of nature means the preservation of forest, land, water, bodies, minerals, fuels, natural gases, and etc. We need to make sure that all of this continue to evolve in abundance. Because all of these natural resources make life worth living on Earth. Why would not be imaginable that air, water, sunlight, as well as other natural resources present on Earth? Spreading awareness about the conservation of nature is always as a necessary step. It can be achieved only when more and more people understand its importance and the ways in which they can help. Besides this, it is essential to plant more and more trees. It is desired to contribute towards lowering air pollution. We must use shared transport and volume reinforced harvesting system to conserve nature. Nature comprises of everything that surrounds us, the trees, forests, rivers, rivulets, soil, air, and all the other parts of nature. Keeping nature and its resources integral, so it is very important for the continuation of life on Earth. It would be difficult to imagine life on Earth, which has spared natural environment. Therefore, taking appropriate steps to conserve nature in its untouched form. It must be powerful for the human race 
Only human beings with the power and ability can save nature in its purest form.